All right, we got some questions here, Steve. Tao asks, uh, Pauline Christianity, please expound on the teaching. I know it separates Christ for the Jews and Paul for the Gentiles. Would you consider this heresy or a cult? Uh, also teaches that Paul fixed what Jesus and the disciples taught. What do you say about Pauline? That, that Paul fixed what Jesus and the apostles that's what, taught? That's what he says, that Paul fixed what Jesus and the disciples taught. Yeah, uh, Paul fixing what Jesus and the apostles talked, uh, taught is heresy. Yeah. yeah. That's just flat out heresy. You know, one of, one of the problems... Would you define Pauline Christianity yeah, Pauline, like that? Yeah, uh, Pauline Christianity, probably what he's talking about is the idea that uh, the Gospels were uh, something that is Old Covenant, and so anything that Jesus taught uh, would not be applicable to uh, modern Christianity, uh, to the church uh, specifically. And so so you see people taking the Sermon on the Mount and just setting it aside as, as uh, Old Testament. And and there's a major flaw to that just on the face of it. You know, the, the whole idea that you would set aside the Old Testament uh, as being applicable to uh, modern day Christians is just nonsense. Yeah. And the reason that it's nonsense is even even in Paul's epistles, if you just use Paul's epistles, uh, gosh, three quarters of it is Old Testament. Yeah, you'd have to throw out whole books like Hebrews and everything. Yeah, you have to throw out Hebrews, you have to throw out Romans, you have to throw out Galatians. Paul is, Paul is getting all of his arguments uh, when he's talking about salvation from the Old Testament. You know, how many times does Paul the Apostle mention Abraham? Mm -hmm. How many times does he mention David? Much less mentioning Jesus, yeah. you know, and and so uh, the the whole idea uh, that you can take certain parts of the Bible and dismiss them as not applicable uh, to Christianity is something that's foreign to Scripture. Uh, when when you're talking about quotes um, either from Jesus or from Paul, or from or from James or from John or from Peter, it doesn't, it doesn't matter where where you're looking at. Uh, these guys are quoting the Old Testament. When Paul himself said, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, and so on. When he said that, the only scripture around was the Old Testament. And, and so the idea that um, you, can, you can take any, any part of the Bible and separate it from uh, the teachings of Paul is just nonsense. And, and so at the, very, at the very least, it's very bad theology, very bad. And uh, at the at the most, um, it's something that is heretical. When you when you talk about Paul correcting G Jesus, just nonsense, nonsense. So, yeah, we don't correct Jesus. <laughs> Would you define yeah. that as a cult? Uh, you know, when when you're talking about uh, cultic teachings, uh, you you need to be careful about. You know, there's a classic term for cult. And in, in the classic term for cult, uh, it's the idea of a sect. And so Christianity uh, would be a sect of Judaism. Um, and so uh, Christianity could be a cult in that sense. So, it, you know, if you're using the classical definition, anything's a cult. Uh, but if you're using the uh, Christian theological definition, a cult is going to be something that's wrapped, around the, uh, wrapped up around the teachings of one guy. And usually there's going to be an attack on the deity of Christ and uh, you know the uh, deity of Christ's uh, salvation, that kind of thing. I think that um, uh, some sects of Christianity that would even um, uh, be good with the deity of Christ and have a, a correct interpretation of uh, Christianity can be cultic in the in the sense that they follow a specific teacher and they you know they they teach that he's the only one who has the truth of God. And, and that kind of thing, and so it can be that way. Uh, generally speaking, you would you would define anybody who's not uh, ripping off the deity of Christ as being aberrant, and so um, it's at least aberrant. That that is not that is not new, that is not New Testament Christianity, and so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, Tal. Thanks for posting today, man. Hope that answers your question.